Okay, so, um, oh, and I forgot to, I got to, I forgot to mention, let me stop this here really quick. Uh, uh, conic sections, parabolas. So, we mentioned, I mentioned on Friday that all of these, these shapes, these curves that we're talking about come from, come from slicing a cone. So a parabola comes from slicing this cone with a plane that's parallel to one of the sides of the cone. And we get a, a parabola traced out on the, on the surface of the cone. So that's, that's one way to look at a, at a parabola is as, as this piece of a cone. What we're going to talk about today is, is the locus, the locus definition of a parabola. So let's talk about that definition. And again, the reason that we're, that we're going about it this way is it lets us think of, of all the conic sections as, as one part of something bigger rather than four separate things. And the, the, we'll have some similar properties and some things that, that relate each of the conic sections to each other. Right? So, so they're, we're kind of building a, building a relationship between all of these things. All right, so a parabola, our definition of a parabola is the, the locus of points. And we said a locus is just a set of points that share some kind of property. Uh, the wrong. Sorry, no worries. Um, so locus is a set of just set of points that share some properties. So a parabola is the locus of points um, that are equidistant So it's we're already starting off similar to our definition of a circle, equidistant from a fixed line called the directrix. And a fixed point called the focus. And the focus is not on the directrix. So if we draw a picture of what we're talking about here, so but before we draw a picture, just, just to relate to what we talked about the circles, circles were all the points that were equidistant from a fixed point. That was our locus definition of a circle. Parabola, the locus of points that are equidistant from a line and a focus. So we're talking about these distances and we're comparing distances and that's how we're defining these. So we know a parabola looks more or less like this. So we're saying we have a focus here. So there's our focus. The focus is inside the, inside the parabola. And let me draw our directrix down here, and I'll draw the directrix in red. So there's our directrix. Isn't that a cool word, directrix? Um, and we have a point here on the, we have a point on the parabola, so that's just some point x, y. And we're saying the distance from that point to the, the directrix, and to find the distance we're going perpendicular to our line. So there's one distance, d1, and we're going to draw a, a segment from the point to the focus, and we're going to say d2. And on a parabola, no matter where we are, what, what the point is, D1 equals D2 for every point on the parabola. So that's, that's what we're talking about here. And I'm going to draw in another, another segment here. 
So what do we call the segment that goes through the vertex of the parabola? What's that? Line of symmetry or what, what was another name? It starts with what? Sounds Latin. Um, so there's our vertex. We'll call this the line of, line of symmetry works uh, or the axis. Does that sound Latin? I, I don't. I don't know. Oh, I, 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 I have an idea what it is. Um, so our vertex, our axis, the axis goes through the focus and the vertex. So our parabola is symmetrical about the focus as well as about, about the vertex, and it's perpendicular to the directrix. I'm going to use our little symbol for perpendicular, perpendicular to directrix. And the, um, the vertex is halfway between the focus and the directrix. going to do is, uh, what we could do is write an equation using the distance formula and, and equating these two distances, and we come up with, with an equation for the parabola. That's how we come up with our equation for the parabola. We're going to do, write that equation in a specific form for this, for this section, for chapter 9, and it will allow us to talk about the parabola in terms of the focus and in terms of the directors. That will let us let us do do certain things with the with the parabola that we that we didn't really do before. All right. So questions on our definition of a parabola and what what the focus and what the directors is. All right. So let's talk about our equation. We're going to use a specific form of our equation for a parabola. Now we have worked, we did a fair amount of work in chapter two with the vertex form of a parabola. Anybody remember what our vertex form for a parabola was? I'll get it started, y equals? Uh, so you're thinking of, you're talking, of, you're thinking of a quadratic equation. So we could turn a quadratic equation into, um, we could transform it into vertex form. It has an A here. X minus H squared plus K. And our vertex was at the point HK. That let us pick out where, where our vertex was. So that's our vertex form. We are going to work in chapter 9 with the standard form of a parabola. <coughs> and they're related because each one each one has the vertex the vertex in there we'll be able to pick out the vertex but they're but they're a little bit different. So I'm going to talk about the other, the other nice thing about the standard form is it lets us talk about parabolas easily with a vertical axis, either opening up or down, or a horizontal axis, opening left or right. We haven't really done much with parabolas that open left and right, but the standard form lets us work with those. So standard form of a parabola. So first we're going to talk about with a vertical axis. So if our axis is vertical, 
The first, first clue that we have a vertical axis or the relationship with the vertical axis in our equation is the x is squared, x part is squared. Our standard form is going to be x minus h squared equals 2p y minus k. And this p in here is going to tell us, give us information about the focus and the directrix of this parabola. h and k is still the vertex. So our vertex is still at the point hk. Our focus Our focus is at the point H K plus P. So P tells us how far away our focus is from our vertex. Our directrix is going to be the line Y equals K minus P. So P tells us how far our directrix is away from our vertex. Our axis for this vertical, vertical parabola is the line X equals H. So it goes through the focus and through the vertex. If P is positive, our parabola opens up. If P is negative, our parabola opens down. And then if our vertex is at 0, 0, our equation simplifies really nicely and we just get x squared equals 2PY. So let's draw a picture here, get a, get a picture of what we're talking about. So here is my parabola, we'll do the open parabola opening up first. If our parabola opens up, P is greater than zero. So here's our axis. Our axis goes through the vertex at HK. It goes through the focus, and our focus is at HK plus P. So if our parabola opens up, the focus is P units above the vertex. And then our directrix is going to be down here. Get it so it looks halfway decent. There's our directrix. And the equation of the directrix is going to be Y equals K minus P. So the directrix will be P units below the vertex. And each of these distances from the vertex to the, to the directrix is P units. And from the vertex to the focus is P units. So the vertex is right in between, right at the midpoint between the focus and this point on the directrix. So basically P is telling us how to get to the focus and the directrix from the vertex. And if our parabola opens down, we just get a mirror image of this, of this picture. P less than zero, same, same idea. There's my vertex at HK. My focus is, not, is always inside the parabola. It's going to be at H K plus P. And here P is negative, so it's telling me to go down from the vertex. And if I draw my directrix here, same equation. Hello. Oh, we uh, interrupt for one second. We have uh, some shirts for Jackson Stevens for winning the uh, Mother of Madness basketball tournament. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. And the equation of my directrix is still Y equals K minus P. Here P is negative. So I get k minus a negative, so I get a k plus, it moves me up. So the directrix is p units up from the vertex.
So questions, questions so far about what P is telling us about our about our parabola. And the other nice thing about this number is we can always find two additional points on our graph. So two additional points on our graph are two P units. And I'm going to say two absolute value of P. So we're moving whatever it is. We're just moving to the left and to the right. Uh, two P units left and right of the focus. So if I move over two P units from the focus here to the right and two P units to the left, I get points that are on my on my parabola. And I think that's what you were thinking of, uh, Julia. The segment that, that goes through the focus and these through these two points is called the latest rectum. Yeah. All right. Questions so far? Let's talk about a horizontal axis. That's one nice thing about standard form is we'll be able to talk about a horizontal parabola the same way that we talk about a vertical parabola. Thing, the, the numbers just change around from the x coordinates to the y coordinates, or the, the y coordinates to the x coordinates, vice versa. And we can describe a, a horizontal parabola in the same way that we describe a vertical parabola. So let's do that. So for this one, we're talking about a horizontal axis. Same, same description, same, same idea, same principle, and that's that's one nice thing about working with standard form is that we can describe all these different things in one way, basically. So our horizontal axis, y minus k squared equals four p x minus h. So for our horizontal axis, y is squared. Our vertex is still at HK. And now P tells us rather than moving up and down from our vertex, we're going to move left and right from our vertex to get to our focus and our directrix. So our focus, our focus is at the point H plus P, K. So now our X coordinate changes. Our directrix is going to be the vertical line x equals h minus p. So the focus is p units away from the vertex, and the directrix is p units the other direction away from the away from the vertex. Our axis, I get the horizontal line y equals k. And again, if uh, P is greater than zero, rather than opening up, we're going to open right. And if P is negative, P is less than zero, we open left. And we get additional points on our graph, two P units. up and down from the focus. So let's draw a couple pictures here. Here is my parabola opening right. So P is positive here, and my axis, I know this isn't a beautiful, perfect parabola. There's my vertex, focus is inside, my directrix is 
over here to the left. And we're at the point, my vertex is still HK. And we're moving to the right here. So I get the point H plus P. K for my focus. And this line is X equals H minus P. So I'm moving to the right and to the left to get my focus and my director. And each of these distances from the vertex to the focus is P units, and from the vertex to the directrix is P units. And then I can turn around, turn my graph the other direction. And when we're doing these problems, it is very helpful to make a little, a little sketch to help you with your, help you with your problem. So HK, everything's the same. We're just flipping things around here. So here's my directrix and my focus always inside the parabola. H plus PK. And this is P is negative this time, so P is less than zero. So that moves me to the left, and this is the line x equals h minus p. So there's our description in pictures of what we're talking about. Here. And we can get our two additional points from going to the fo from the focus, two p units up, and two p units down. Finding additional points. All right, questions on our, our locus definition of parabolas and our standard form. So what I want to do next is just go through a few examples of using, using the standard form and figuring, figuring out things about the focus, the directrix, et cetera. Yes? Did I say 2P here? Oh, this should be, you're right, this should be 14. Thank you. I was thinking of, I was thinking of this number up here. So this should be 4P. 4P on both, both forms. Two additional points are 2P units. So the whole length, the whole length from, from this point to that point is 4P. All right. All right, so let's look at a few examples. Um, so we want, for this example, we want the focus, we want the vertex focus and directrix. Of y equals 0.5 x squared. Well, the first one's easy. What's the vertex here? Zero, zero. Vertex is at zero, zero. So that one's easy. We want to find the focus and directrix now. In order to find the focus and directrix, what do we need to do? Is this, is this in standard form? We need to write it in standard form first. In standard form, whatever the, the squared term is by itself and everything else on the other side. So we want to write it in standard form. So what's standard form for this parabola going to be? x squared equals 2y. So P equals, we know that 4P, 4P equals 2, so P equals 1 half. The X is squared, so my parabola opens which direction? Up, X is squared, P is positive, so it opens up. So that tells me that my focus is half a unit up from the vertex and the directrix is half a unit down from the vertex. So my focus is going to be half a unit up, so it's going to be at 
0, 1 half. And the, um, the directrix is going to be half a unit down from the vertex. So the directrix is going to be the uh, horizontal line y equals negative one half. So P tells us we move up and down from the vertex for this parabola that with a vertical axis that opens up. And then we could sketch a nice little graph. If, if the problem asks us to sketch a graph, we could find the vertex, the focus, the directrix, and we could get two additional points on our graph as well. All right, questions there? All right, let's look at another one. Let's write the standard equation. We want the equation in standard form of our parabola. with a vertex at 0, 0. And a focus of 0, negative 2. So this, this is an example where it makes sense, where it can be helpful to draw a little sketch. So here is my vertex at 0, 0, and here's my focus at 0, negative 2. So what does this tell us right away? Our parabola opens downward. So our parabola is going to look something like, something like that. So we know it opens down. We know that our axis is vertical. So we know we have a vertical axis, opens down. Vertical axis tells us what about the parabola? X is squared. Um, our the fact that we open down, what does that tell us about P? Positive or negative? P has to be less than zero, so if we come up with P being positive, we know we've made a mistake. So we open down. Um, so looking at this, looking at our little sketch, how far is the vertex from the, from the focus? Two units. So P is negative 2, and we're set. So I can say x minus 0 <coughs> squared. So x squared equals 4 times negative 2 times y minus 0 squared. So x squared equals minus 8y would be the equation of that parabola in standard form. And if we needed to, we could find the directrix. The directrix would be two units above the vertex, so it would be this horizontal line at um, y equals 2. And we could find two additional points. We could plot two additional points to the left and to the right of 0, negative 2. And we'd go over 2p, so we'd go over left and right four units. All right, questions on that one? kind of nice just being able to figure out the equation of a parabola just given this, this little bit of information. All right, the next one I want to, I just want to set up and we'll talk about how we would do it. I'm not going to go through the entire, the entire process. So let's say we have, we want to find the, uh, the problem asks us to find the focus, vertex, and the directrix of
of our parabola x squared minus 2x minus 16y minus 31 equals 0. So I don't want to go through the entire problem, but I want to talk about how we would do it. So what would we do here? Complete the square for x. So I only have the x squared. So that's, that's what tells me it's a parabola. I don't have a y squared. So I'm going to put all the x's together. So I'm going to say x squared minus 2x. Put those together. I'll complete the square there, and I'm going to put everything else equals 16y plus 31. Complete the square for x. Whatever I add to this side, I would add to this side. And then group everything. And I would end up being able to write this in standard form. From the standard form, I'd be able to pick out my vertex. I would be able to find P, and that would give me my focus and my directions. So for this kind of problem, we would complete the square. So I'm not going to go through all of that, but I just wanted to talk about how we would set it up. So complete the square, and then write in standard form. And that would give us all of the information that we needed to find these pieces. Um, now, just looking at this, looking at this equation, what what can we tell about what can we tell about this parabola without even completing the square? Our axis is vertical or horizontal? Vertical. Is it going to open up or down? Up. So vertical axis that opens up. So we know that without even completing the square. Um, so if we, if we came up with some other kind of parabola, we'd know we'd made a mistake somewhere. All right. Next example. Uh, we have a parabola. So all of these problems, they just give you some different combinations of information, pieces of information, and we have to figure out the other pieces that we're missing to write our equation. So equation of a parabola, our focus is 1, 2, and our directrix is, at, is the line x equals 3. So we have these two pieces of information. Let's draw a little sketch. I always suggest you draw a little sketch. So here's my focus at 1, 2. And here's my directrix. x equals 3 is a vertical line. So here's my vertical line at x equals 3. All right, so we have, we have a lot of information now. Uh, our axis, vertical or horizontal? Have a horizontal axis. The focus has to be inside, and the vertex, um, or sorry, the uh, directrix, because the directrix is vertical, our axis has to be horizontal. So we have a horizontal axis. Uh, which direction is our parabola going to open? It's got to open left. So what does that tell us about P? P has to be negative. So since our axis is horizontal, what else does that tell us about the parabola? Which part is squared? Y is squared. All right, so we're almost done. All we need to do is find our vertex. How can we find, we need to find our vertex and we need to find, we need to figure out, we need to figure out P to write our equation. How can we find our vertex? Daisy?
B is one because our distance, our distance from from the point one two to the line x equals three is two units, and that's two p. So we know that p has to be, and it's less than zero, so p is negative one. So we move over one unit from the focus to get to my vertex. So where where would that put my fo my vertex? Two, two. So here's my parabola. Goes like this. P is negative one. Uh, my vertex is at two, two. So now I can write my equation. We know the y is squared. So y minus two squared equals two p negative two x minus two. Uh, 4p, thank you. Why do I keep wanting to do 2? Two? 2 is two's a nice number. 2 is prime. 4 is not. I don't know. Um, Alright, so that's my equation. And again, I could find additional points on the parabola by moving 2p units up and 2p units down from the focus. So I go 2 units up and 2 units down. All right, questions on that one? All right, last one. Last one. Um, we want the equation in standard form of the parabola with a vertical axis. vertex 0, 0, and it goes through the point, through the point uh, negative 3, negative 3. All right, so we have a vertical axis. That tells us, that tells us something. What does that tell us? x is squared, our vertical axis, our axis vertical, x is squared. I can draw a little sketch here. My vertex is at 0, 0, and it goes through the point negative 3, negative 3, so that's 0, 0, and that's negative 3, negative 3. So it has to open down, so it has to look like this. So I can I can write my I can start to write my equation. I know that it's x minus h, so x minus zero uh, squared equals four p. I got the four p right this time. Four p y. Now how can I find p? I need to find p. Hmm? So we can, there's an easy, easy way. What do we want to do? Plug our points in. Plug in this for x and plug in this for y. So I'm just going to plug in my point. I know it has to go through this, this point. So I can say x squared is 9 equals 4p times negative 3. So negative 12p equals 9. Solve that for p and I get p equals negative three-fourths. So my equation is x squared equals four times negative three-fourths y or x squared equals negative three y. So just different varieties of types of problems that you, that you can do. Um, Using using our standard equation of a of a parabola. All right, one uh, really quickly. 
really quickly, one interesting thing about parabolas and about the focus is that um, if you, if I have a parabola here and I have a light at the focus, all the light that comes from the focus ends up going out parallel to the axis. And also goes the opposite direction. If any light that comes in parallel to the axis goes to the focus, so this is how telescopes work. This is also how a, um, a flashlight works. The, the bulb is at the focus of this parabola that's inside the lens, and so it focuses the light in a, in a beam. So that's one, one interesting property of a, of a parabola. So they use parabolic shapes for antennas and mirrors and all that kind of thing. All right, our homework. All right, there we go.